But one of the first things I got introduced to when I came to Mayapur was um, you'd go to Bhagavatam class and you'd always want to sit right next to Pangaya and Jayan's food because after Bhagavatam class you'd get to carry their Bhagavatam you know, on your head and if you were the second kid you'd get the glasses case and you'd walk back with them to their room and then you know they would always give you some maha or something and I remember Pangajampur didn't like it when you paid obeisances to him so when, when, I, when we'd pay obeisances he'd hop on top of you like a horse and I said I got the ride <laughs> so he made it like a game like you're not paying obeisances I'm riding a horse you know? um, and uh, also there wasn't so many devotees so there was an extremely like family mood in Mayapur and so it was very hot in summer and so everyone would go to the Ganga and Pangajan and Jansper also always came to the Ganga and uh, the kids used to get to play with them and they would team up because there was two of them so you'd be swimming underwater trying to get away and, and one would come under and bite your toes <laughs> and then when you come up for a breath Janias would be waiting with this big clump of ganga mud so you come up like <gasps> and then he would put the mud on top of your head so they were always playing and um, and then uh, as you, you know, uh, we were girls, so uh, as you got older, the relationship would uh, change uh, in certain ways, but they were always there, always part of the family, at least in my family, any birthday we had was only Pangajan and Jaspur really were the only guests that came. Um, and there was always stories, I think my brother is going to speak later, it was always his birthday they would come through, so there's a few stories there. Um, but I remember once it was winter and I was at the temple and, and Pangajampu noticed, you know, that I didn't have many warm clothes on. He's like, why, why have you got no socks on? Why, where are your warm clothes? I, and I said, oh, I don't have any, you know, I just, yeah, I must have made an excuse or something. And he said, come with me. And he took me back to his room and he gave me a jumper, a scarf, socks, or, or just took it out of his cupboard and just said, here, put this on and put this on. <laughs> And, uh, and then the next day I came back and I said, oh no, you gave me the wrong scarf. There's a J initial on it. It's Janani Vasprabhu's and I wore it. And he's like, nah, it's okay, you keep it. <laughs> uh, so I stole Janani Vasprabhu's scarf. <laughs> um, whenever we would leave Mayapur or come back to Mayapur, it was like they were the head of the family in Mayapur. So you would always go, oh, Janice Fu, we're going back to Australia for a certain time. You'd get their blessings and then you'd go come back. And I used to go to Poland um, every second year probably to spend um, time with my Guru Maharaj and Swami. So I came to Pongenaipur and I said, oh, I'm going. And then he said, oh, come, come, I've got something for you. And I went up to his room and he had a, a cow pillow. And I guess he'd been on Polish tour, and you know, everyone sleeps on the floor, and you, usually you don't have a pillow. <laughs> so um, he gave me this pillow, and I slept with it every night, you know, <laughs> for two months. Um, and there, there's lots of stories, but uh, yeah, <laughs> I can't think of them all right now. But an extreme example for me of Pangajan Prabhu is that everybody makes mistakes or things happen in life, but. Um, to face that and he was an extremely amazing example of facing whatever comes, being there, keep on going and that's the hardest thing to do I think in life when you're vulnerable to be able to face that. Um, so Pangajampu was truly an amazing, amazing um, example and uh, just yeah like everyone mentioned just how he treated everyone equally and gave time was extremely personal and even now that Mayapur's 5,000 devotees or more he still has a personal relationship with everyone he knows all the devotees all the new devotees still keeps in touch with all the old devotees I mean he, he yeah amazing um, thank you That's all.